And speaking of all these game releases, shall we get to game news where there are mm. a good ton of things from Gamescom? Gamescom 2021 happened this year, and let me tell you, I, I missed the actual live stream. I wasn't watching because I'm like, eh, like Gamescom is fine, but there's never usually, I mean, there's, it's not quite an E3, you know, there's some surprises, uh, but I'm kind of sad I did because it seems like this this year's showcase was packed with some some real heavy hitters, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll was, live stream uh, them quickly. It was a pretty great show. The, uh, what what's it called? One... One Night Live? Jeff Keighley's thing? I Opening Night no. Live. There uh, we go. <laughs> Opening Night Live. Oh, uh, yeah, it was great. I thought it was... Uh, I mean, there was actually an Xbox conference this week as well, but it was so, like, non-eventful that I don't yeah. even think we, we remembered it. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's fly through some of the big announcements. Um, getting new a new Centro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like a reboot uh, of sorts. Very... So uh, it will feature new characters in a new city called Santo Lies Il Ileso. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just called Centro. So, yeah. yeah. It looks wacky and ridiculous. So but it looks un like a unlike Centro 3 and 4, it seems more, you know, roots. Grounded. Grounded. Yeah. yeah. Not, not superpowers. Um, no. So, yeah. Uh, that's, that's also coming soon, uh, February 25th. It's, yeah, it's around the corner. Shoo. With a long, long side another game, which was got a fair Yo. date, which we'll get to soon enough. Yeah, Marvel's Midnight Suns, um, um, made by Firaxis, the makers of XCOM. XCOM. Mm -hmm. um, this is described as a tactical RPG, yeah. so not really like XCOM. Yeah. When they say that, I think of things like Ultimate Alliance, almost. Yeah. Maybe that's more action RPG. I don't know. I know, uh, so there's there's no gameplay on this. Um, no, no gameplay yet. There, there's some written previews, uh, but there's no gameplay. But like, wow, you get a lot of um, like heroes in this trailer uh, with some very interesting like designs on them. Mm. So see, you know, staples like Captain America and Iron Man, uh, got Ghost Rider, mm -hmm. uh, there's Blade, mm. uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, that's it's a cool cast of characters yeah. so yeah but no no actual gameplay i think gameplay is coming first of september if i'm not mistaken uh, i think they said yeah, right. gameplay reveal first of september which is this coming week so yeah that's cool uh that launches in march yeah so that's also not far away nope uh then we got a very 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 long um gameplay demo of call of duty vanguard um I thought it was very boring to be entirely Just honest. pew pew. Uh, yeah, it Look, was like I, very cinematic and like, yeah. I don't know, man. It just, it doesn't seem surprising anymore. Um, no. Look, I like the single player Call of Duty stuff, but mm. I don't know. And it's it's like there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, good writers on, on this, uh, this year's campaign. So mm -hmm. like, I'm keen to give it a go. But uh, yeah. there was nothing there that popped out of me that I was like, damn, that looks fucking great. It just yeah. looks like... Call of Duty. Uh, yeah. This Still is surprising. Given, given, given that Xbox had a conference the day before, but they held out... Literally the day before. And, and saved... No yeah. yeah, but I, I think who, somebody said that they played nice with Jeff in the sense that they... He obviously wants to put together an all-inclusive show that features something from everyone. So I think it's very big of them to save their like let's call a spade a spade like their console's most recognizable game you know for not their show or jeff's show so yeah hello infinite's yeah, release cool. date yeah. 8th of december so that's so a good right uh, on the corner month out of uh call of duty's uh, mm -hmm. wake so i think that's smart mm -hmm. um yeah it's cool it's obviously the multiplayer in the campaign uh they also revealed a what Xbox Elite controller? That's uh, oh the there. Master Chief, yeah, and the uh, Xbox, Series, Xbox X, Series X, which actually looks really nice. I think that I quite like, like it. it. I'm yeah. I'm quite keen to see what other. I mean, that's their first like official uh, limited, limited edition, edition console, yeah. and X cool. Xbox yeah. are real good at doing fun different things. Like their controllers are a testament. They always have new controllers coming out and they the horizon controller oh my lord it's, it's interesting looks good 
<laughs> uh, uh, got an announcement trailer for a game which I thought looked really cool called Cult of Lamb. Uh, you play as a possessed lamb who has to repay the mysterious stranger who saved you from annihilation by developing developing a following in their name. It reminds me a lot of um, Don't Starve in its gameplay. Uh, maybe the game. Uh, oh. yeah, the, the actual movement and the point of view. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's like, it's like a 2D sprite in a 3D world yeah. type, of, type of thing. The, an so. the animation is real good. Though. I mean, look at this. There's, there's like a bit of combat. It's so smooth and it just sure. looks it good. Looks oh, so man. Good. Yeah. I'm keen for this. See what I mean? I like, yeah. Like don't Starve. Yeah. It's, it, what's interesting, though, it's like it, it looks that it seems to have these elements of it's, you know, very action combat focused, but then it's like, you also build a base and you get followers mm -hmm. and you do all these other side things, which I'm quite curious to see how that plays out. Probably like followers <laughs> who give you powers, uh, probably, I assume. Probably. It's, <laughs> it's some real cutesy, creepy shit though. It's, I love it. Yeah. yeah. It's got a great look. Uh, yeah. That's out early 2022. Mm -hmm. Oh, this looked good as well. This looks great, uh, yeah. Fight Express uh, looks like a sort of like isometric brawler um, developed by a single man in uh, Poland. It right. looks great. Yeah. The combat in this game looks insane. It's yeah. just so stylistic and very yeah, action heavy. <laughs> it's coming out summer 2022, so summer, so that's like winter here. It, yeah looks great i yeah i'm keen to give this a go yeah you just give it a, a bash pun intended <laughs> uh yeah. got another look at uh teenage mutant ninja turtle shredder's revenge which is the like the classic beat em up made by dotemu Do, mm -hmm. Dotem yeah uh, and they revealed april o'neill as a fifth playable character mm -hmm. i like how she does a little like actual mic drop as a move oh uh, yeah she, someone with the mic and just like Poof. It's great. It's very, this game's art looks incredible. It's yeah, it's very, very much in line with the, you know, the old school cartoon. My God, mm. I need to, I need to get this YouTube premium so I stop getting these ads. So <laughs> won't, so won't get my money. <laughs> it's just buy some Vix. Now, well, oh, I wanted yeah, to, I love Vix. wanted to quickly love, show, uh, show some gameplay here. Um, yeah, it's very much. Let me just skip past old Jeff here. It's like oh, old retro. Right. Yeah, it looks good though. Oh, it looks so good. It looks real, nice. real good. There's a oh, look at the mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Right. Uh, um, Super Monkey Ball Mania got a new trailer where they revealed uh, Morgana from Persona 5 is coming as a DLC character. So mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh, Splitgate. Split oh, which I actually wanted to talk about, but I'll talk about it next week. Uh, the halo x portal shooter that's in early well it's in beta right now mm -hmm. it's great firstly i played a lot of it last weekend and i absolutely love it but season zero is kicked off because it's in beta so it's like season zero of their battle pass mm -hmm. what the fuck does better mean nowadays <laughs> who knows uh but that's who knows? Now. yeah uh speaking of betas uh riders republic is in open beta right now that's the sort of like extreme sports game from ubisoft mm. Only until uh, August 28th, so by the time you listen to this, it's done. Sorry. Right. Today Sorry for, for you. <laughs> uh, Sentry Age of Ashes is a free-to-play dragon-flying PvP game. Oh, well, wow. I missed this. That's out nice. in November. Uh, UFL. Uh, UFL. This was interesting. It's a, Came out of nowhere. a new football game. Yeah. yeah. So not PES, not FIFA. This is a brand new game from a developer called Strikers Inc. Uh... All this says is that it will be free to play and also fair to play, where only your skills matter. Interesting. Interesting. Man, this game. So Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga is like all nine films in one Lego game. My goodness. Uh, this, it was playable at E3 2019 and was yeah. meant to launch that year. It is now only coming in spring 2022. That is like... That's so far. Still really far well. away. So this yeah. game must have gone through some shit. Like, yeah. Things must have happened. But it looks it looks far more involved um, than a typical Lego yeah, game. The, like, yeah, the traditional Lego game. Yeah, like you can see the lightsaber fights look proper climatic <laughs> and the, the shooting looks more like third-person shooting mm. now. Uh, oh, that looks like a lot of fun. 
it looks good. It also looks quite beautiful. I it's, think. Um, yeah, look how shiny these Lego blocks are. Yeah. Oh, damn. It's weird that they talk proper English now. I oh, do that. I haven't they're actually. Not, they're not, they're not... Because in the past, Lego uh, games, they're just, just like, meh, 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 meh. It's almost like sim simglish. You know yeah. I mean? <laughs> simglish. It looks good, though. It, Look yeah, at this honestly. cover base shooting. Nice. <laughs> With the typical sports <laughs> humor, obviously. Love yeah, it. Yeah, that's out uh, next year. Uh, then we've got Synced Off Planet, which is apparently a third-person PvPVE game. Sure. A lot yeah, going on here. Machines, that's all. That's all there was there. Mm -hmm. Atlas, Atlas Trials, Trials. co-op survival horror in the Atlas universe. You can miss oh, me with that shit. Are we? Are we Maybe. playing this multiplayer? What? what? Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. That's out in uh, 2022. Oh my god, this, this game. This game. This, okay. this is what I'm thinking of. Hang on, let me just pull up this trailer here. This trailer was so out of nowhere and so left field, and s but it got people talking because it's. Oh it looks yes, like yeah. Children GTA. <laughs> it. It's like beautiful, like don't get me wrong, but what <laughs> is this game? But it goes you you go on a journey. So if you, if you don't know, go go look up this trailer. Dokev D O K E V. Just look up the Gamescom trailer. It looks like you're just navigating an open world as a kid. You're doing your thing, but you hard cut a few few like a minute or so. You're now fighting a giant robot something. You're now like riding a llama. <laughs> like. You're flying a cut. Hang on, I'm still skipping. You are skating. You are now dancing. <laughs> is that dancing? I don't, I don't know what is going on there. Uh, it's, See, it's, that looks like Monster Hunter. It's like yeah, big it weapon, big monster. Now it's like a third-person shooter. Now, man, there's a lot going on in this there's, trailer. There's, there's some shit going on here, yeah. There's a lot going on in, like, what is this trailer? Like four <laughs> minutes? Yeah. It's, um, it's, bizarre, it looks really pretty. I, like, yeah, I can say that without a doubt. It looks super. There's like um, it's an interesting combination of it's very cartoony yet in a very realistic world. I could say that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Just kick that bomb like a soccer ball. Um, it's a great time. What is this game? Uh, it's Ghosts, Ghostbusters now. You're busy. Uh, yeah, no, Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah, don't cross the streams. I don't know what's going on, but I, I'm keen to see more of this game. Yeah, I I really want to know more about this weird fucking thing. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, Jurassic, Jurassic World, World Evolution Evolutions two, coming out on November 9th. Uh, mm -hmm. I got old, got good old Jeff Goldblum to chat in that trailer. So mm -hmm. if you want to hear his sultry tones? You know. Nice. Far Cry Far Cry 6. I'm forgetting this game's coming out. It's out on October seventh, so it's yeah. like not far away. Uh, another so story close. trailer. Mm -hmm. um, we have enough trailers yeah. of Far Cry now. I'm like, yeah, let there's, the there's game come out. It's fine. Uh, Vampire. This game, I, I never know what's going on with this game. I feel like I keep hearing about it, but it's not out. Vampire the Masquerade. Oh, well, well, there's so many different ones. That's okay, so I'm not why. mad, right? There is a bunch no, of them. Vampire the Masquerade 2 Bloodlines, which is the actual like sequel to the RPG, which was meant to be out December last year and has just like disappeared off the face of the earth. This is now a free-to-play battle royale in the Vampire the Masquerade universe. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. So that's going in early access on September 7th. But uh, yep. yeah. That's quite soon. Park uh, Beyond. From the, the park simulation game from the folks Tropico behind Peeps. the Tropico games. Nice. That's cool. I, these have never been my sort of games, but I know mm. people love them. So yeah. That's cool. Uh, Jet the Far Shore. This is another game. I feel like we. Are, I'm very keen for this game, but I keep seeing trailers. I'm like, just enough. <laughs> just looks, release the game. It looks weird, and I want to know more. It reminds me a lot of No Man's Sky. Mm. It's also made around the folks who did um, Super Brothers. So that game was awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, October fifth. October fifth on yeah. PlayStation in the Epic Game Store. I yeah. think. I thought this is quite surprising that we got an actual release date for Horizon Forbidden West uh, mm -hmm. coming February 18th. So that those first three months of 2021 really looking stacked. real stacked. My God. Elden so Ring, that, January, Horizon in I, Feb. Sure. I guess that rumor of it being pushed to 2022 was correct, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a very slight delay. I mean, it's yeah. coming in February of 2022, so it seemed yeah. likely. Um, so yeah, interesting. 
Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, oh, and uh, along with that, they announced a patch for Forbidden. Oh, um, uh, for the OG. So yeah. Now running at 60 frames on PS5. I did jump into it just to check it out. Very nice. Very pretty. Nice. Also uh, reminded me how slow the opening hours of the game are. <laughs> they are Aloy. real slow. Wow. <laughs> uh new world open beta dates um this is the amazon i think it's the amazon game yeah amazon mmo yeah mm-hmm. cool nice jumanji, jumanji. a digital uh, board game nice Cursed returns is a digital board game based on the cursed jungle game by marmalade game studio marmalada this game try to say this game name I think, don't you find it funny that the dead mouse was 100% trolling? He, yes. He's like, it's, it's dead mouse 5, and then late in the trailer, like, dead mouse. I'm like... Yeah, he, he, he's not, he was straight up trolling. Yeah. Straight up trolling. So, I mean, this is I do, what... I do like that in this article, they've, they've said dead mouse twice in two senses, but spelt it differently in both. <laughs> Amazing. So I don't know what this game is, but yeah, it's coming. It's a yeah. persistent fan hub and over, concert over space. A puzzle or whatever the fuck it's called. It's got numbers in it. I yeah. Yeah. Uh, All guys getting Jungle Book skins. You know, when I first saw this, I thought, oh man, it's Frosty's the Tiger. I didn't think it was Shere Khan from Jungle Book. <laughs> Tony the Tiger, Frosty's the Tiger. Oh, is it, is it Tony? Tony oh, the okay, Tiger. Like, get out of here. Frosty's the, the Tiger. Fro- no, know, Fro- Frosty. Frost, Frosty's the cereal. Led by Tony the Tiger. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Tony the Tiger would never be that jacked if he ate Frosties. No, you'd have a bup because of all the sugar that's packed into Frosties. Delicious. Tasty. Uh, replaced. My God, there are actually a lot of games shown in this hour and a half. This game uh, was that one that we we saw um, earlier this year. It almost looked like that Symphony of the Night type fucking weird 2D thing. Uh, uh i know exactly what you're talking about so yeah was... that's uh it's just a new trailer yeah, there you go um, i see it no, no release date or whatever so yeah bam okay age, age of empires, empires 4 wool of law that's about it they just showed cool age of empires <laughs> 4. i know in the xbox conference they spoke a lot about trebuchets so oh, nice uh Volham getting a hearth and home update on uh, September which is pretty soon so if you like Volham, you got some uh, home building to do or home wrecking depending on <gasps> how many people you want to fight uh, Aloy is joining genshin impact this is one game i need to try at some point in my life just to know what it is and how it works because i know it's basically gacha breath of the wild um, it's fun Mm. I, I I jump in every now and then, especially now that there's cross save between the PlayStation and the mobile phone version, because uh, mm. that wasn't there till I think a few months ago. Um, it's fun. It's like I I haven't like gotten into it like other people have, mm. but I think it's been fun. And, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Um, Sifu got a release date. This is another like 3D brawler, but this is from the developers of Absolve Absolver. Yeah. Mm-hmm. this game looks fucking great yeah uh, i cannot wait and and the fact that it's coming on february 22nd ah uh, like, yes this game oh this game Bam, looks like was... a proper awesome like fighting game um fighting brawler. Get the shit out of people <laughs> Yo, looks super good so can't wait oh uh, this is a game where every time you die you get older yes, yes, yes okay yeah cool we're on the same page now <laughs> Uh, then the show ended with a very long trailer of Death Stranding Director's Cut. Um, got to Why? see Sam Porter Bridges have new tools like a cargo catapult, boost stabilizers, uh, a jetpack, a motorcycle, jump ramps, and more. You can nice. also get a feedback from your buddy bot. How nice. Very keen to see how this game it works on... ridiculous, this yeah. Director's Cut. I will jump back in just for the dual sense. Yeah, I just want to see how it feels trip. and then I'm done. I don't think I'll replay the game. I had a great time with it, but I don't see myself sitting through the whole thing again. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, that's, that's, look, there was a lot of other stuff out of Gamescom, but I suppose this is the, you know, the bread and butter, the main showcase with all these 
it's good games um so that's that's really what news was about this week and there's like literally two other bits and pieces which we'll touch on so metroid dread uh which is out in october i think uh it just got a new trailer featuring a classic villain uh, i only included this because i love a good friend darren bone Tiles. um he had a line here metroid dread's latest trailer has chozo to go with violence and turns out the villain's name i presume <laughs> is chozo <laughs> why does GameSpot keep hiring this man why do they, why keep, do they paying keep paying this guy <laughs> terrible puns so i'm very very excited for this game that's i i do yeah. love that Darren in in the GameSpot Slack has fully embraced his nonsense puns and people like 100% understand that's his bullshit now. It's very funny nice. to watch. Like, it's very funny to watch people discover the Darren we know. That we, um, we know and love. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. And I, I, I love it. it. It makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. Nice. Um, knowing that other people have to be subjected to his fucking bullshit. His nonsense. <laughs> I love him. Um, yeah, this game looks good. I'm very keen to, yeah, get to yeah, it in this game October. Rad. I, God damn. Yeah, I'm very keen for this game. Um, a, a Nintendo made Metroidvania, an yeah. actual Metroid. I mean, come now. It looks. It just looks visually. It looks fucking like Beautiful. Samus Holy suit. Hell. I love the yeah. white and the. Oh, it looks so good. Too good. Yeah, um, I'm keen. When people were putting out previews for the Switch OLED and they were like, man, this game really shows this, the difference. I was like, mm. shit. <laughs> shit. Stay away. <laughs> yeah. um, and then, I don't need one. I don't, I don't need one, but I want one. And the last piece of news, because we are really long in the tooth here. Uh, and a move that does not surprise me at all, but has pissed off a lot of people for God knows what reason. Blizzard will rename Overwatch's McCree amid the lawsuit fallout. So that fell, I think, last week is an exception. Every week since this lawsuit came out, there's been some news, you know, surrounding the garbage Good. going on at keep Blizzard. It, keep it in the news. Um, and yeah, we've we've mentioned before Jesse McCree, Overwatch character, was actually named after one of the employees who has since vanished from Blizzard, I suppose, mm -hmm. dismissed or what it, well, we don't actually the, know yeah in that uh, cosby suite uh, yeah debacle so, yeah so they haven't actually said what mccree's new name will be but there is a law update or something planned for the near future which are where which is where i presume they will you know reveal a something something so they've also said that they will not name new characters after real people which seems like a fucking good move mm. considering you know yeah keep things fictional yeah. Tying them to real people, you'll just you just sitting. Just asking for trouble, things. yeah. Yeah, that's uh, it's interesting. I'm, I am quite curious to see to what extent they they do it because I mean, that that means re-recording voice lines, going back and you know amending things like comic books. Do they amend cinematics where you know he's actually called McCree? I I don't know to what extent they they do the change or do they just like. They archive that it is what it is, and moving forward, this character is now called this, or whatever. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We'll we'll have to see. What I what I love is some people's like proposed names, like they should call him a Six Shooter McShooty Shoot. Like <laughs> yes, that, just call him Ha Noon. It's so easy. Ha -noon, there, Ha Noon. Like he's got an actual name, but just refer to him as Ha Noon. And you don't even have to take out that um. Uh, the voice line is high noon. No, it's the same. <laughs> Hi, I'm high noon, and it's high noon. Yeah. See, the, <laughs> the words. Um, but yeah, that's that's really all the news. This was th there was this week. Gamescom bringing in some uh, some nice heavy hitters and some little bits and pieces to carry us through to the, the busy month of September. So sure. yeah, sure. lots lots coming up. I'm sure for the end of the year.